Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Hibbler Fluid Mechanics. And the problem says that if air within the tank is at an absolute pressure of 680 kilopascal and a temperature of 70 degrees C, determine the weight of the air inside the tank. The tank has an interior volume of 1.35 meter cube now we are given the absolute pressure so let me write that the pressure is 680 kilopascal which can also be written as 680 into 10 to the power 3 kilo is 10 to the power 3 and pascal is newton per meter square similarly the temperature in degree c is 70 degree c and if you want to convert it into kelvin so that will be 70 degree C plus 273. So that will be converted into Kelvin. So uh, 70 plus 273, this gives me 343 Kelvin temperature. Now we are required to determine the weight of the air inside the tank. The tank has an interior volume of 1.35 meter cube. So now the volume is 1.35 meter cube so now how we can find this since we know that the uh, specific weight is the weight per unit volume and we know that the weight is now from this we know that uh, the from this we can say that the weight is gamma times v and we also know that uh, gamma is weight per unit volume and and weight is mass times g per unit volume and this mass per unit volume is density so we also know that gamma is uh, rho g so now if i plug in this rho g instead of gamma in this equation so we can say that the weight is rho g and v so now we are given the volume this is the acceleration due to gravity so we have to find the density of the air at these particular conditions so then we will be able to use this equation to find the weight of the air inside this tank of volume 1.35 meter cube so now we can find the density by using the ideal gas equation so from ideal gas equation we can say that uh, we know that PV is equal to MRT and then if I divide both sides of the equation by V so we will have mass divided by volume into RT and again this mass divided by volume is the density so we can say that the pressure is density R into T. So now the pressure is given which is 680 kilopascal which is 680 into 10 to the power 3 and the pascal is Newton per meter square we want to find the density we can read we can find the r value from the appendix and this is the picture from that appendix a in which the air uh, the r value for air at absolute uh, standard atmospheric pressure is 286.9 so we can plug in that r value which has the units of this so we can say that the r value is 286.9 the units are joule per kg Kelvin and now we have to insert the temperature and that will be in Kelvin remember that always use the temperature value uh, in this ideal gas equation in Kelvin and, and always use the absolute pressure so now the temperature is 343 Kelvin so I will write this as multiply by 343 Kelvin now we can see that uh, this Kelvin will cancel out with this Kelvin and this remember that this joule is work and work is always Newton into meter so we can replace this joule with uh, Newton meter right so we can say that this is 680 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter square and this is rho and 286.9 instead of joule i will write newton meter per kg into 343 so now we will have 
uh, 286.9 multiplied by 343 we get this is rho times 98406.7 and this is Newton meter per kg and this is 680 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per meter square so from both sides Newton will cancel out and now if I cross multiply this this is this is 98406.7 Newton uh, so Newton cancels out so we are left with uh, meter per kg so if we cross multiply so we will get the density and that will be this is 1 divided by meter square now so this is 680 into 10 to the power 3 uh, into 1 divided by meter square and then we will have if we cross multiply this so this will be kg divided by meter we will have kg divided by 98406.7 meter so now so this is uh, this 618 times for 3 divided by this number so this is 680 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 98406.7 so this is the density is we can say that the density of the air is 6.91 this is kg per meter cube this is meter square into meter so this will be m to the power 3 and as we know that the density is mass per unit volume so that is mass is kg and the volume is meter cube so this is the exact value of the density for for the air at these two uh, at these conditions this is the pressure in 70 degree c so now we know the density value we can use this equation uh let's say this equation which is this is let's say equation one so now let's plug in all those value in this equation one so we will get the value for the weight of the air in this tank so the weight is the density now the density is this 6.91 the units are kg per meter cube multiply by g which is 9.81 this is meter per second square into volume now the volume is given which is 1.35 so 1.35 meter cube now again uh, this meter cube cancels out and we are left with uh, 6.91 multiply by 9.81 multiply by 1.35 this gives us 91.51 this is the weight is 91.51 and the, the remaining units are kg meter per second square which is which is equal to newton so the weight is in newtons and that is 91.51 newtons so the weight of the air and this particular tank of volume 1.35 meter cube at this particular pressure and this temperature is 91.51 newton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe in juniors academy for such more problems from himmler fluid mechanics